Mother was my friend. What do you want from me? I want to help you. find my mom. We'll find her. Sounds change, but the faces all look the same. Yeah. Not much of a life, is it? What we're doing? It'll do. We better get you registered. What do you mean, we, pale face? <laughs> it's okay, I can handle it. You sure? Yeah. Got the routine down pat. Gee, I don't know where my transcripts went. We've been moving around so much. I had a tutor last semester and I guess she took them with her when she went to Argentina. Oh, the shot record? Must have been with the transcript. Well, unless they were lost in the fire. You better go. Good luck on your job interview. Good luck in school. I'll see you tonight. I don't care if he's got a brownie in stomatic and he can't find the little button. A newspaper without pictures is gonna look pretty funny. Off. Why don't you call one of your yuppie buddies on the New York Times? Maybe they'll send a photographer out to cover the city council meeting for you. I got a better idea. Why don't you write me another 10 inches to cover the blank space? Well, do you think that the public is really interested in what the council had for lunch? Excuse me. They said to talk to you about a job as a photographer? Yeah, right. Uh, what's your name? Paul Forrester. Connell, you're a jerk. Get out of here, both of you. Hey, I don't know this guy. Are you the same Paul Forrester that took this? Yes. Paul Forrester happens to be one of the best photojournalists alive. What would he be doing hanging around San Leon? What would anybody be doing in San Leon? Are you really Paul Forrester? Pictures don't lie. <clears throat> uh, if the cops are after you, I don't want to know, OK? <clears throat> now, let's talk about money. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, it's not going to be what you're used to, I'm afraid. We run a pretty tight ship. I'll vouch for that. Forrester, meet Joe Connell. I'll probably ask you to pay for your own film. 
Enough, Connell. 500 a week is as high as I can go. Okay. Who buys the film? Don't pay any attention to Connell. Now, how soon can you start? How about tomorrow? How about today? There's a city council meeting in 30 minutes. Look, here's $100 cash advance. Go buy yourself some film. Connell, Forrester's going with you on this. Well, come on, get the lead out. The lead is out. Touch them. Grab them. Make those hams cry. What's the matter, Harley? You're saving your energy for lunch? Come on, touch them. Grab them. Make those hams cry. There you go. Touch them. Grab them. Make those hams cry. Good, real good. All right, take a look at how it's done. Uh... <sighs> okay, everybody up. Oh. All right, two laps to the shower. Let's go. Oh. Impressive. You ever compete? No. Why'd you stop running? Well, you know you gave our number one man on our cross country team all he could want. Why don't you come out for the track team? We start practice tomorrow. Wait up, wait up. I don't think so. Get you out of gym class. That's okay. I don't want to get involved in stuff like that. of boredom. Well, who's going to write the story? In the unlikely event that anything happens in there worth writing about, I'll borrow somebody else's notes. In the meantime, I'll be right across the street in a little tavern called Juliana's. You, uh, pick me up when you're through. The picture's worth a thousand words, right? Click, click. Baker, if you wanted to. Maybe he's pretty fast. He's not as hot as he thinks he is. You gonna join the team? I'm not much for teams. My name's Kelly Jordan. Scott Hayden. Well, I gotta go to math class. Oh. I'll see you around. Yeah, sure. How's your day been so far? I'm still here. I think you're about to wish you weren't. Your genius forgot to read the instructions that came with his camera. He didn't focus it. Forrester? What's this supposed to be? I think they said his name was Buckwalter. Well, I can't see much here, but I can see that that's not Buck Walter. Here. 
My God, he's asleep. That's Buck Walter. <laughs> no, no, you mean that was Buck Walter. I can't wait to see him dance his way out of this one. Great shot, Paul, great shot. Listen, what's your credit? Just photo by Paul Forrester? Uh, no. Uh, I don't want any credit. Oh, OK, never mind. Remember, I said I didn't want to know. Let's suggest this for page one. And run the credit. How often do we get Paul Forrester, anyway? Yes, sir. That is, if Connell ever finishes his story. Working on it. <laughs> bring back a lot of memories for you. Yes. <laughs> Chairs, tables, <laughs> these. <coughs> Who can forget? I'm Mrs. Madison. I'm Scott's homeroom advisor. I've been meeting with the parents to get some idea of the student's home life. What do you want to know about Scott's home life? Well, I sense there's something bothering Scott. His work is all right, but he's, I don't know, he's, he's uninvolved. What I mean is it's like he's here and yet he isn't here. Is he that way at home? No. When he's home, he's there. Oh, well, that certainly isn't the case here. It's as if he's afraid to participate. Do you have any idea why? Well, I suppose it's because we're traveling all the time. New schools, new mm -hmm. teachers, new friends. You know, my being a photographer and all. Yes, and from what I hear, quite a brilliant photographer, too. <laughs> what was your alma mater? Alma mater? I graduated from Radcliffe, 72. Radcliffe? <laughs> oh, yes. Me too. A cliffy? I don't believe it. Of course, when I went there, it was a girls' college. <laughs> that was before they fought the sexual revolution. <laughs> I guess the whole thing was over with by the time I got there. Who won? What else did she say? That's all. You spent the whole time talking about the sexual revolution? You're supposed to be talking about me, you know. We did talk about you. She likes you. She thinks you're smart. I didn't think she even noticed me. She also said there was a homecoming dance soon. She asked me if I'd be a chaperone. What's a chaperone? I was hoping you'd know. Well, you don't have to worry. I mean, I'm not going. <laughs> why not? Well, you know why not. I mean, we have to keep a low profile. <sighs> Maybe this would be good for you to do. Hey, you're the one that's always telling me how careful we have to be, and I think you're right. I mean, I just don't want to get involved, period. Hello? Hi. The what? Yeah, sure. When? OK, see ya. Who was that? Uh, it was Kelly Jordan. Kid from school needs some history notes. Oh, you never mentioned him. Her. It's a girl. Different places. Uh, my dad travels a lot. What's he do? Well, he's a photographer. And you and your mother let go with him everywhere? Well, not exactly. Uh, see, I don't have a mother. 
Uh, I do, but she's not with us right now. Are they divorced? Separated. <laughs> Friend of mine's parents did that too, got separated. They ended up getting a divorce. I don't think my parents would get a divorce. I hope not. I think I'd freak if my parents ever did that. They're a little weird, but at least they're predictable. What's your dad like? Well, he's pretty weird, <laughs> uh, but he's okay. Do you like traveling around? Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, Seattle one day, Phoenix the next. We just kind of bop around all the major hot spots. It's great. Do you want to get going? So what about friends? Friends? Yeah, if you don't know how long you're gonna be in one place, how can you make friends? I do okay. Look, it's getting kind of late. Oh, you know, my dad's picking me up in front of the library in 10 minutes. Why the library? He thinks I'm studying. I mean, he wouldn't let me hang out here on a school night, would they? <sighs> I had a good time, Scott. Me too. Want to go out sometime? With you? Yeah, with me. Uh, I don't know. It was just an idea. I forgot the history notes. How about Friday night? <laughs> It's a date. Welcome to the team. A couple of things. You run on my team, you live by my rules, okay? It means you work hard and you stay clean. We got a tough season coming up this year, and I expect you to stick to your commitment like everybody else, all right? You told me all that, Coach. <clears throat> yeah, I know I did. But I've learned over the years that it doesn't hurt to say some things more than once, OK? Now, get on out there and stretch that skinny frame. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Are you ready? Mr. Wright said to get going. Mr. Wright, oh, you're cute. What the hell would I do with that pen? We're supposed to go to the city dump. Yeah, I've already heard about this plum. It's just one big story after another around here. Son of a gun, I thought I paid that. What's this? Huh? Oh, Chicago Pressman's Award, 1964. I used to wear it when I was a reporter. What are you now? <sighs> Come on, let's hit the dumper. Coach says you're gonna run with varsity against Pendleton. Yeah, he told me. You're on good. So do you. Got two things to say to you. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna whip your butt. I'm glad we're on the same team. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I happen to know what computer time costs. Now, all I'm asking for... Well, it's still a priority with me. How the hell... What? I know, I'm sorry, I shouldn't raise my voice. Please, just print it out the first chance you get. This is really very important. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, I will, thank you. Yes, I'll be waiting for your call. All right, bye. Thank you, George. One for my colleague, please. Put it on my tab. Same way? I'll have a glass of water. And on the rocks. Can you call yourself a news photographer? How do you expect anyone to take you seriously if you don't drink? A picture is worth a thousand words, right? Thanks. And don't take any pictures of me. Besides, after what we saw out at that landfill today, I think you should follow my example and stay far away from water. Does that go for ice, too? <laughs> George, 
George. Let me have another. Holy ice. So, uh, do you enjoy your day wading through garbage and toxic waste? That's my job. <laughs> That's what they pay me for. Your job? Do you really think they care about you? They're trying to sell this rag, and as soon as they do, believe me, you'll be out in the street with the rest of us. I don't like to stay in one place too long anyway. It's too much to see. You are a real Cub Scout, aren't you? Talent, integrity. Why, I bet you help little old ladies across the street. But what are you doing here? Taking pictures. No, no, you could do that in New York or L.A. You don't work in San Leone unless you can't work anywhere else. You messed up somewhere, didn't you? Is that why you're here? It's getting late. If you don't like what you're doing, why don't you do something else? Because I don't know anything else. I don't change what I do, I just change where I do it. you weren't going to come. I was just sort of watching from over there. Why? I wanted to make sure you'd be here. Well, I got the tickets. Well, so did I. <laughs> I'd like my money back, please. Thank you. In the old days, they never stopped the fight for a cut eye. The man that you just slapped blue on a fighter to hold him together sent him back again. I see you left your cab out front. Yeah, I want to get an early start in the morning. Sandy's a good day. Okay, hey, what time does that kid down the corner get the morning papers? Anytime now, I guess. I'll read them early editions. Oh, I got paid today. Uh, better take your rent money while I still have it. Be back in a while. What's wrong? I got an itch on my back. Well, Cub Scout, shall we scour the city for a scoop? I've got to get home to my son. How touching. Cute. Think maybe you shouldn't be driving? The only time I'm too drunk to drive is when I'm passed out. And that won't be for another 20 minutes. See you later. Transmission is shot. Should have left this thing at the dump. Mind if I give it a try? Oh, be my guest, Cub Scout. Check this out. Just came in over the wire from the coast. Out of focus. Yeah, look again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrific shot. Yeah, look who took it. I wonder why Paul Forrester's working out there. What's the difference? He's either hiding from a bookie or a cookie. 
We can run this in a picture's worth a thousand words department. Perfect. <laughs> Bus should be uh, coming any minute. I had a good time. Me too. Homecoming dance is next week. Yeah, I'm not going. Of course you are. I am? How else am I supposed to get to go? You want me to take you to the homecoming dance? Thank you, I'd love to. How'd you like to start your life all over right there? I was just practicing my reading. Upside down? <laughs> well, if you practice uh, long enough, you can read either way. <laughs> How was the movie? That was terrific. You really like her, don't you? She's okay. I saw you kissing at the bus stop. You were spying on me? No, no. I just was driving by and I happened to see you. Oh, Scott, it's a father's job to talk to his son about things like this. Oh, we learned all about that in biology. No, I'm not talking about biology. I'm talking about feelings. When I left your mother, it hurt. This is different. Are you sure? Look, I gotta get up tomorrow morning early. Scott. Will you have the same pain when we have to leave? No. Don't worry about it, okay? I've got it under control. How was the snack, girl? <coughs> oh, you mean you didn't stop for milk and cookies, huh? So my, my stopwatch is on the fridge. But I got a solution. I'm going to give you a one-minute head start. All right, now, I'm fresh as a daisy, and I'm going to be running hard. And if I beat any of you back to the starting line at the schoolyard, Don't let it happen. Hmm? You better get going. You got 57 more seconds. Uh Yeah, 
What Stay took you, man? <laughs> okay, guys, here it is. Sometime between 5 and 6 a.m. this morning, Matthew Willis, 863, a blind news vendor, was beaten and robbed. He leaves no known survivors, and an autopsy is pending to determine the exact cause of death. We have no leads at this time. You will be apprised of the details of the investigation as they develop. Thank you. Get some coverage of that newsstand around the corner and also some of the cops, too. Forrester! Satellite photos? Sir? You're supposed to be checking the latest satellite photos. I finished. And? Nothing. Now I'm checking something else. A newspaper? I get a lot of ideas from this newspaper. For instance, last week they had a story about a farmer in Indiana who heard a funny noise outside. And when he looks outside, he sees a pulsing light sort of hovering above his hen house. And guess what? No. I want you to run down to the data section and see if my printouts are ready. And Wiley, bring me some coffee on your way back. you took at the city council meeting got picked up by the AP. Congratulations. Way to go. AP, <laughs> what do you know? Mm -hmm. They'll probably run it all over the country. Great. Don't care about the glory. Want to come shout? Just want to take good pictures? I don't get it. You say you've been around, but it's like you're seeing everything for the first time. That's what I do. Sorry, it just doesn't add up. From time and Newsweek covers to here, that's a long slide. And you just don't look like you've been through it. You still care. And you don't? Believe me, there's nothing new for me under the sun. I've seen it all too many times. Maybe you haven't. Scott's father. We're Kelly's parents. Scott's day. Oh! Brad Tux, dude. Gnarly. Uh, totally. Nice to meet you. Uh oh. Is that your father? Uh, yeah, that's him. He's cute. Hot Tux, too. Let's go say hi. Uh, no, later, okay? Oh, hi. I just met Kelly's parents. Gnarly, totally. <laughs> Do you want to dance? Uh, no. Oh, right. You unreconstructed types think the man should do the acting, huh? No, it's not that. It's just that I don't know how. To this stuff? Who does? Come on.
glad you came this evening. I've been wanting to talk to you about the remarkable change in Scott. Of course, I've seen it before. You know, once a youngster becomes accepted, well, they're like flowers blooming. Your son is at home here now. He belongs. And the end of the sky. First time ever I We have to talk. Okay, I'm sorry I'm so late. It was just the best party I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> it's not about that. A picture that I took got picked up by a national wire service. So? It had my name on it. Fox might see it. Wait. I know how you feel. No, you don't. Maybe Fox won't see it. What if he does? Well, then let him. For the first time in my life, I have friends. I have a place I care about. You can run if you want to, but I'm staying. Stay, Scott, you know that. This is all your fault. If I had a normal father like every other kid... You are what you are. There's nothing you can do about it. You should have thought about that before you came back. I came back because of the feelings that I had for your mother. And now I have those feelings for you. It's the bond that keeps us together. Now you're forming new attachments. That's the point. No, the point is you're thinking with your heart and not your brain. There's a real danger out there and you're not seeing it. I just don't want to spend the rest of my life running. If we don't run, you won't have a life. Heading for the office? Hop in. Thanks, but I'd rather walk. How did you know where I live? I used to be a reporter, remember? Listen, I've been thinking about what you said. And maybe I haven't seen it all. Sometimes the most amazing things are right in front of us. We don't even notice. We could be a hell of a team, you and me. I mean, we could make Woodward and Bernstein look like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Ooh. Yeah, cute, cute. Look, just think about it, OK? Enjoy your walk.
You nervous? I've never done this before. I just know you're going to win. And I know you're going to break the tape first. And when you do, I'll come running down from the stands, just like in Rocky. Well, suppose I come in night. Then I'll still come running down. Hey, how you feeling? Great. Hey, let's try to stay close to each other at the beginning. That way we can, uh, you know, kill off their pace burner and set each other up for the finishing kick. Whatever it takes the team to win. You got it. Okay, off the track, everyone. We have the start of the cross country. Come on, everybody get off. We gotta get going. Thought you had to go to work. I got off early. I've been thinking. Maybe he won't see the picture. I'm glad you're here. Cross country runners to the starting line. The race is about to begin. Break a leg. Well, that's for something different, but thanks. <laughs> Don't check on my dad. Take your mark. Set. The runners are leaving the track. can't run out of me. Not now. We can help each other. I'm not your Cub Scout. I can't help you across the street, but you can do it yourself. My God, who are you? Answer the question. I'm something new under the sun. First time I ran with him, he quit. He didn't quit. I don't know what happened, why, or anything, but I know Scott Hayden didn't quit. I don't want you or anybody else to say that again. Come on, Scott. Let's go. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Your face. 
I'm sorry. I'll forget it. I can't. Everything we had to leave behind. School. Girlfriend. Friends. Girlfriend. A nice place you love. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. I'm sorry because they mean so much to you. I'd like you to have these things growing up. I'd like to be able to give them to you, but I can't. When we find Jenny... Things will be great. That's why we'll keep looking, right? Right. We still got each other, right? <laughs> right. It's too bad, though. What? That you couldn't finish the race. You were running pretty fast. Who knows? You might have won. Are you kidding? Those guys were crawling. They were backing up. No contest. Well, you weren't running that fast. I suppose you could do better. <laughs> Wait a minute now. You're telling me that you're a runner? Are you kidding? <laughs> you see that tree down there? Yes. Where's it go?